Tuesday, October 12th, is to Bob Riddle, Maureen Scanlon, and Elizabeth Silver, and Carolyn Mish, you all know, right? Yes. Okay. Um, so we first need to have a, a public comment moment. Is there anybody here who's not related to this application that wants to make a public comment? Moving right along. Um, we will be hearing the amendment to commercial finding of Florence Bank, 491 Pleasant Street, Northampton map ID 39A-031, which was published on September 28th and October 5th. Um, is there somebody here who can make a presentation, please? Thank you. Good evening. Hi. Uh, Jeff Squire from the Berkshire Design Group here on behalf of Florence Bank. Um, as, as you mentioned, uh, the, the site that we're looking at is 491 Pleasant Street. Uh, it's the site of the uh, previous United Bank um, uh, building with drive through um, it's been vacant for a couple of years. It was permitted as a non-conforming use back in 2008-2009. Um, the, the Florence Bank is looking to lease that space now and, and reoccupy it um, with, a, with an ATM um, and office space. Um, really, the only change of any significance is eliminating the interior drive-through lane. Um, they, they just want to extend the, the ATM out to the outer lane. Um, everything else on the site will, will function exactly as it does now. Um, small revisions to signage just in terms of color um, and logos, but the, the sign area and everything else would, would stay the same. Um, circulation, parking, all of that would, would remain the same. Great. Questions? Yes. Yeah. Um, so the building will be used as a branch? It will be, there'll be office space in there, yes. Okay, and yes. a, a teller, so. Uh, no, they're, they're eliminating the teller. That's what. That's why they're they're eliminating that interior. Okay, so it's right. really just a drive-through and yes. an ATM drive-through. Correct. And so that handicap spot, that's not for customers. It will exist because there will be an office. Um, there will be office space in there, so they will maintain that um, accessible space out there. Gotcha. Thanks. Uh, any questions? No, I have no questions. Is there anybody else that wanted to say anything? CPW had no concern. <laughs> okay, thank you. Well, I'm much. just curious, and Carolyn, what was what makes this non-conforming? Well, they originally, for? well, it actually wasn't um, about the use, office use is allowed. It's about the current number of curb cuts. So originally when the United Bank bought the corner of property, which is what the previous uh -huh. user um, developed, um, bank um, there were three curb cuts I think and they wanted to um, so there was a because we don't allow three curb cuts particularly that and that close to the intersection we require a 50 foot offset so that's what triggered the initial finding when United Bank came in to build the bank building so this is really just a finding about the fact that there are multiple curb cuts and close too close to intersecting streets so what's going to happen with the curb cuts then? Nothing. Nothing is being proposed to be changed. So that was approved in the finding in 2007. And um, so but once you come in for a modification, it, sort of, it puts you on that track. You have to have a review of any modifications to the site in subsequent yeah. stages. Yeah. You would exit immediately onto the traffic cycle. Right. And you go. So if you're going to go left into town, you have you to can't go, go left, around right. the you have to go around circle. the circle, right? Yeah. And there's now an island as a result of the of the roundabout there that even makes it harder to take a left turn. So right. it's, yeah. it was always a right turn only, right. Um, but now it's even more difficult. Right. And that was not in place when the bank was when established. The bank was established. Right. And when the original right. come out on Collins. You know, you can come out on Pleasant. Too. Yeah. Oh, and turn into the road. You can come out on Collins Street though, at this point. Yeah. Right. Or mm -hmm. Pleasant. Yeah, but you can't drive through the drive through and then come out on the commons. You right. have to go into the office and come out on the commons. Yeah. Um, this may be in here, and I apologize, but what are the what's the lighting on the signs? Um, I believe they're either ground mounted or, or gooseneck, you know, fixtures. I'm not entirely positive what's what's out there. To be honest with you, um, I believe they're ground mounted signs. So you don't think they're illuminated? No, I know they're not illuminated. It's a, the, the two signs, there's one 
um, if you're standing in the roundabout looking at the building, there's sort of a welcome to Northampton, um, I think United Bank sign, that'll be changed to the Florence Bank sign, the same location, that is ground lit. Um, and then there's a sign on the, um, you know, a building sign on the, on the wall. Um, I think that one may be lit with, you know, an architectural, you know, arm or something. Um, so for hours of business or until, you know, I would imagine it would be hours of sense. operation mm -hmm. for, the, for the signs, sure. space as described for the Florence Bank location. Do you need anything more specific than that? Or is that uh, no, I, no. Okay. Is there a second? A second. All those in favor? Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. You can put that space on through the gravel road for the Florence Bank. Really? Can't you Oh. Is it Yeah, we're just get the minutes because you said you didn't have Oh, to um, those going to pull them up. Uh, today. I didn't put them Oh, no, I do have them. I have them. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. I do. I'm sorry. That's okay. Um, the only thing that I have noticed, did you have a chance to look I did read them. I'm not sure one. it was my motion. Um, my motion for what this one um and this oh, the sign and it's going to be opened this year too so there was this back and forth you closed it and you needed more comment you needed more information from the applicant so you reopened it yeah somebody had to right. move to reopen it right okay i didn't realize i didn't remember Um, oh, I guess it's right. Yeah, no, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Okay. Okay. Um, my only question, I just don't know procedure. We also, during our meeting, um, David posed the question about his chair position. Was that after it closed or um, during the meeting? I can't be certain. It was not during the meeting. So, yeah. We had closed. It was um, I can certainly post. add that to the minutes. I think I, I think he may have brought it up after we adjourned. Um, Which uh, meeting was this? Double this check is because he felt, right? yeah, it, it's, I'm fine with it not being in there if it's after the adjourned. No, but right. you're right. I'll it seemed check. like a, um, a point he felt yeah. he wanted no, to. No, absolutely. So, yeah, um, as you are no doubt getting the gist, David, was raising the fact that he thought that he had had a lot of conflicts recently and wondered if he should continue and we both all assured him because he should. And we, we, we re-upped him for another 10 years. So. <laughs> yeah. I don't think I would have put that in the minute. No. <laughs> That's not really what happened. No, that was my true. take on it. Yeah. Oh, you're yeah. right. You're right. Yeah, that makes things something different. That was certainly my take. Yeah. David's really enjoyable to work with. Oh, yeah. And he really hasn't. I mean, lately there have been a few more conflicts. This is, yeah. I think, the third. But it's unusual. It's, it's been what kind of law do you practice here? Well, um, oh, yes. Should we adjourn? Oh. Motion. This, this should go on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, make motion we need a And I'll second. <laughs> okay. 